Welcome to Code Corner with Katie. Welcome to Code Corner with Katie. Let's see what's on Thinking Man's mind today. How many exit or exit access doors are required in a room with one or more operable partitions? That's a great question. We can use the egress calculator in order to figure this out. I'll be basing my answer today using references from IBC 2015. Other editions are very similar. Always consult your state and local codes as well. This is a hotel, a, four, a five story hotel, and it has an area with meeting rooms. Meeting rooms and ballrooms and areas like that are places of assembly most common, but this one has operable partitions. It has a full sprinkler system. Our single doors are three foot by seven foot and our pa pairs of doors are six foot by seven foot. Let's see using the Asabloy egress calculator, whether or not we have enough exit access doors from each space. You have to look at each one individually and then look at it as a whole so that if they're using just this meeting room, do we have enough exit access doors from this space? And then if this is open here and you are using the two meeting rooms together, how does that change the occupant load and how does that change our number and width of our exit and exit access doors? And then last but not least, you have to figure it based on all of the operable partitions open or worst case scenario, if they were using this as one very large meeting room. Let's take a look. You don't have to fill this in, the room name and the date or the project name, unless you're going to save this for your files. We have the assembly occupancy calculator, and that's the one we wanna be on. And because it's a meeting room, a meeting room can be configured as unconcentrated use with tables and chairs, or with just chairs only that are not fixed. So let's figure it based on concentrated use with chairs only, not fixed. We said it was a building that was fully sprinklered. And the first thing I wanna do is enter the room length, the first one and the width, which was 26 by 42 and hit add. That will calculate the occupant load just for the one meeting room. Now I wanna put in my second one. It was 32 by 42 and all of the rest, the fully sprinkler stays the same. I hit add and then I've got one more space. The 27 by 42 is our third meeting room. If all the operable partitions are open, let's hit calculate. Then my total occupant load is 510 people, and I need a minimum of three exit or exit access doors from that space. My minimum clear width per exit exit access would be 32 inches. I've got 76 and a half inches total clear egress capacity width. My doors need to swing out, and panic hardware is required. The main entrance would need to be 38.25. And I can download this and save this information to my file for future reference. So what this is saying is because each of these rooms are more than 50 people, I would need two exit access doors from each of the rooms. And then when fully open and used as one large room, I need a minimum of three. Let's go back and take a look at what we had We had 26 by 42. I do have two exit access doors if this partition is shut. Same thing here, I've got two. And if this is shut, I have two. When everything is fully open, I've got a total of six exit access doors from this space. I'm way over what I need, which is great. It's better to have more exit and exit access doors. It makes it safer and faster for people to exit, especially in an assembly occupancy. You can get a hold of that egress calculator at egresscalc.asaabloy.com. You can use it on your desktop 
tablet or smartphone. It is a free tool for you to use to calculate occupant loads, egress width, the swing direction of doors, make sure that you have the proper quantity of exits, all very quick. I also have some classes on Asa Abloy Academy for further information and continuing education opportunities, please visit Asa Abloy Academy by clicking on the link in the comments below. I'll also link the egress calculator for you too. And please click like and subscribe to this channel. You can follow me on Twitter at Art Consultant and or connect with me on LinkedIn for updates. If you have any code questions or if you want to see a code question featured on a future episode, feel free to email me at katherine.flower at asaabloy.com. Thanks for joining me in the Code Corner today. My name is Katie Flower, and my goal is to help you achieve safe security in the built environment.